All right, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we're gonna be doing something neat. But first of all, man, the garage is coming together. This thing looks sick. Look at those buckets, man. Finally got those in. They're gonna be awesome too, but it's not about that today. It's about Sonex versus the last coat. Yeah! Two heavy hitters coming at it hard. We're gonna put them on the hood, we're gonna put them to the test, and we're gonna see who comes out on top. Both are good products. Let's get them on there and let's get moving. Yeah! All right, so let's first talk about the Sonex. It went on kind of thick. It had that typical ceramic spray coating where it went on thick, was kind of draggy going on. Nothing great, nothing horrible, but boy, when it started to flash off, I had to work kind of hard and it was streaky and I had to flip the towel back to the wet side, dry side, dry, wet side, dry side to get all the streaking off and I can still see some streaking on here. Overall, gloss level is really nice. It looks great but the slickness level is a little on the low side as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna give it not great on the application, the smell not great, and the slickness level, level not great so far. Now, the last coat. I sprayed the last coat on and the directions say to don't let it dry on the paint either. Neither one of them you wanna let dry, so small sections is gonna help. I put a couple sprays on here, started to work it in in a crosshatch pattern, it was going on really greasy, really easy, the way we like it. And then all of a sudden I saw it starting to flash off. And as I got across that, I went, whoa, 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 don't get behind the product. But I'll tell you what, it took a, lot, a tiny bit of scrubbing after that. But once I got it off, and it wasn't hard either, but it did take a little bit of agitation. Boy, it's buttery smooth under there. I'm shocked, it, it really feels nice. So I'm going application process, medium to easy. Smell, eh, and slickness, uh, slickness level is pretty high on this one. It feels really good. So I'm curious to see how it looks. We're gonna let it set overnight, and then we're gonna go out there, and for the record, whoever is new to the channel, this is for demonstration purposes only, I can't recreate the desert. I can't recreate the Canadian salty, snowy roads. The tropical island experience, maybe, but what I can do is I can spray all these chemicals that we normally use in the detailing business right on here and we can get some results pretty quick and see what's going on. This will be a demonstration, entertainment purposes only, chemical resistance test. Let's let it set overnight. We're gonna get out front and we're gonna hammer it. And you know what I mean when I say hammer it. <laughs> all right, we'll see ya. All right, so my first and favorite test, the water sheeting test, look at that last coat just peeling off of there. But as I'm walking it back the other direction, it's starting to stick. Man, it's not as hydrophobic and sheety as I want it to be. Wow, look at that Sonax. That looks insane. It's like a river pouring off the hood. I mean, it is insanely hydrophobic. That's amazing. All right, let's see what it does under the hose. Nice water beads for the last coat. Wow, look at that beading off the Sonax. I don't think I've ever seen anything that hydrophobic. Wow, that is amazing. Look at that. Insane hydrophobic on the Sonex side and it just blows clean, easy. Last coat's hanging on a little bit. It's not bad, but man, I gotta give the win for hydrophobic to Sonex right off the bat. Let's hit it with a little CarPro reset. Wipe it down. This just simulates the normal wash process and just how it'll handle a few washes. Both of them rinse super easy, really hydrophobic, no problem whatsoever. Give it a quick wipe down to get all that residue off. And there it is under the hose. Good beading on the last coat side. But man, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen hydrophobic qualities like I have on the Sonex. It is just falling off of that paint like, like nobody's business. Look at that. Wow, really good over there, really good. So let's come back and hit it with CarPro Reset again, simulate another wash. Wipe it down, get it nice and spread out. Give it that rinse and largely unaffected. The normal washes aren't hurting these products at all. 
And look at that Sonax. It's just like falling off the paint as quick as I can put the water on. That is pretty cool. Wipe the residue down. Okay, so now we got some good beading on the last coat side. Same, same. No damage from the Carpro reset whatsoever. Wow, look at that hydrophobic property over there. That is awesome. But you know what? It doesn't really matter until we drop some chemicals on here and see what's going on. But I gotta say, right now I'm impressed with the Sonax. Just slippery as crazy as can be. Let's hit it with some bug off. This stuff's gonna do some damage for sure, but it should be able to handle. Products in the past have handled. And wow, just looking at it right away, it looks like both of these are already falling flat on their face. The last coat took a major punch to the chops. Look at that. I would say most of it's gone and the Sonax, if not all the Sonax is gone. This reminds me of a Mike Tyson fight back in the 80s. <laughs> one round, one good punch, and it's over. There's still a little bit of action on the last coat side, a little bit. But man, the Sonax is gone. Look at that. Absolutely gone. That's very disappointing. I gotta say, very disappointing. And you know, multiple uh, hydrophobic tests here. You can see it kind of a little bit of action on the last coat side, but the Sonax is pretty much gone. That's very disappointing. Let's hit it with some uh, iron remover, see how that does. That's usually is a sealant killer. You know, I didn't want to come at it this hard right away. I wanted a fight. <laughs> but these are the products I've been using in the past and other products have handled. But wow, look at that. The poor Sonax is just out of the fight, getting dragged down the road. It's done. It is flat on its face. Absolutely no evidence that there was ever anything on there. And the last code side, I gotta say, it's pretty much gone too. What is going on here? That's an onslaught. <laughs> Very little last coat left up on the top of the hood there. We gotta say it's still alive, but barely. I mean, barely. And look at this, Sonax. It's been gone. I mean, there's a sign up that says nobody's home. <laughs> but there it is, still a tiny bit of action on the last coat, just a, ever so slightly. But if this was on my vehicle, it would be time to reapply. That's done. That, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. But clearly the winner, clearly the winner. So we'll see what happens. We'll hit it with a little bit of super clean. Um, usually this does a little bit of damage. I'll hit the Sonex side just to, just to say I did it, but it's already gone. Wipe it around. And I can tell you there's just nothing left, man. I wish there was. This fight is over. It is done. The towel is in. People are getting carried out. <laughs> I wish it was still there, but it's not, guys. Even the last coat, absolutely gone. Just nothing left whatsoever. That's very disappointing. Very little chemical resistance from either of these products. Um, I wish I could say different, you know? Let me know down below in the comments. Have you guys used these products? What's been your experience? You know, in the real life, it did handle a few washes. It did a good job, but all in all, I gotta give it. Sonex had insane hydrophobic properties in the beginning. Last coat went on easy, was slick to the touch. Neither one of them handled a beating. I wanted them to take a beating. I thought for sure it was going to. But all in all, Sonex, I'm sorry, buddy. You're out. Last coat, you took the win. But I'm telling you, you're not going to hang against the big dogs. <laughs> I can already say it. So I'll leave links to these products and all the other products I use. Anything in my garage that you want to uh, check out, I'll leave links to everything I can down below. Ask any questions. I'm always here to answer them. Um, Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. I can't do the hammer, guys. I can't. <laughs> no hammer here. See you on the next one.